Welcome to The Calculus, a collection of micro lectures, video lessons, and sample exercises. Let's talk about some major concern with regards to the differences of a limit of a function as x approaches to a certain constant c and a certain substitution of c, the same c, on the given function. So there are differences between the two. Now this idea of distinguishing the difference between the two is anchored in the um, general idea that solving for the limit is by direct substitution. That's what we usually do when we, uh, we are solving for a limit of a function. We substitute the value of the variable that is approaching to get getting closer to to our function to get the um, limit of the entire function but there are some cases most specifically for some functions like piecewise functions where substitution is not necessarily entirely the correct process in solving for the limit let's talk about the same example we had when we discuss the or when we illustrate the limit of a piecewise function using table of values if i'm correct this was its form you have f of x is equal to this function of course piecewise function have multiple description or definitions you have x plus 2 as x if sorry let's use here if x is greater than 3 and you have here x squared minus 1 if x is less than or equal to 3 this was the piecewise function we had in uh, one of the videos when we discussed the limit of this using table of values and we had the answer to that uh, that is actually the limit does not exist okay, you might want to review that video because we're just going to uh, talk about the difference of the limit and the substitution directly we will talk about the limit of this okay, function as x approaches to 3 from last time okay from last time the limit of this actually doesn't exist again review that specific video we talk about the illustration of the limit on piecewise functions which is uh, coincidentally here doesn't exist because there are some piecewise functions as well that the limit will exist but for this example given it doesn't exist because the limit from the right uh, from the left let's start from the left the limit from the left will be using this okay this uh what they call this one this definition because this contains the values less than or equal to three and the limit of that from the left was actually equal to eight okay I'm not, I'm not going to give the illustration or the notations first because there will also be separate videos talking about one-sided limits later okay but it's actually eight here from the left okay this was the limit from the left i'm not going to give yet the notation but the limit from the left is eight the limit from the right uses the second definition we had their answer for that which is five okay so please review the said video I mentioned earlier. Now, since the limit from the left is not equal from the limit uh, limit from the right, this was the time when we said that for this specific piecewise function, the limit doesn't exist. Okay, that was discussed before. Now, if we are going to just simply use f of c, because this is the c here, okay, f of three, let's find out if we have the same result. We have f of 3. For this piecewise function, f of 3 is very specific. And you're going to use the second uh, description or definition. Because this is the only expression def or definition that accepts, we have here equality, accepts 3. So the f of 3 here is on the function, the second function, x squared minus 1, which will give us 3 squared minus 1, we will get 8. Okay, this is the result for f of c where we pick c as a 3. That's the same c here Okay, in our illustration. We had 8. Of course, this value is similar from the left. 8 here, 8 here. But it's the, the difference now here is we're comparing the limit of the entire function. And the limit of the entire function doesn't exist. And f of c is 8 notice the difference they are not the same so for some cases direct substitution which is this second 
process doesn't necessarily give us the correct limit from time to time. But the process of substitution is what we usually do. We talk about limit theorems next and before. We're, that was what, what, what we usually do to solve for the limit. But just for this illustration, we would like you to understand that there are some cases where substitution is not always the correct way in solving for the limit. But in looking at the uh, limit from the left and from the right, especially most especially for some cases like piecewise function. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe now!